the trouble with spacesuits is that they over the years they've become enormously fragile because of what they are not because they went into space and not because um, of, of any other reason a spacesuit is made out of a variety of modern materials and when you get modern materials together they don't necessarily play nicely in the sandbox they are inclined to off gas uh, one will become brittle and then pieces will cause other other pieces to, to um, not do so well and then they also mixed metals um, if you get for example, if you get copper and rubber together, the rubber is going to deteriorate much faster than it would on its own. And the, a spacesuit such as this has two zippers, one of which is a brass restraint zipper. In other words, it's a very strong brass zipper that holds the suit in place so that the, the pressure sealing zipper doesn't have as much pressure put on it. And then you have, the, as I said, the pressure sealing zipper, which is another brass zipper, only it's got rubber in between it, sort of like that, so that the air won't go out. Well, brass has got copper in it, and the brass has caused the rubber in the, in the zippers to, to collapse and shred and, and fall apart. Spacesuits also off-gas in general a hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is water soluble, so when the humidity levels go up, the, the air surrounding the spacesuit essentially can become acid rain, that shows my age, but it accelerates the, the deterioration of the spacesuit. So you combine all of this and the spacesuit's life, what happened to it, which does make part of a difference. As per, the the difference is if it went into the tanks, if it went into the um, neutral buoyancy tanks, or if it went into um, out into the field to for training. All of this has 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 had its effect on the spacesuits, and they're heavy and will collapse under their own weight. And then you have the deteriorated rubber. And sometimes you have a suit that there's very, very little you can do to preserve it. But because it is so historically valuable, you have to do everything you can just to keep it at the stage that it was when you found it. And that's what I've tried to do with some of them. But with some of them, it's very, very difficult. Some of them have survived very well. The later Apollo suits, um, have survived very well. Apollo 15, 16, and 17, and then all the Skylab and ASTP suits have survived very well. And that's because they put an additive into the rubber. And um, that stopped the deterioration. And those suits never were used for lunar travel. They went to Skylab or um, ASTP. And so, but they've all survived much better than uh, the early suits.